Hello, I'm Simon from Careco, and here we have the electric folding Exco Nano Mobility Scooter. This comes in two colorways. It comes in matte gray here on my right and matte red on my left. The scooter can carry up to 115 kilos in user weight and weighs 25 kilos. It travels at four miles an hour and has a maximum distance of up to 11 kilometers. Again, that depends upon the user weight and the terrain in which you're using the vehicle. It has large seven inch front wheels and eight inch rear wheels, which means it'll handle those uneven pavements whilst you're out and about going to the supermarket. As mentioned to begin with, this is an electric folding scooter and its party piece is by pressing a simple button on the remote control or on a button on the back, the mobility scooter will fold up into the position that you can see here on the left. Let's see how that works now. In order to fold the scooter, there's a couple of items that you just need to move first of all. Firstly, we put the backrest down and then we can adjust the arms by pressing the button on the side and fold those flat, as you can see. On the tiller, you may be able to leave it at the height shown. However, by simply loosening the tiller, dropping that down and retightening it, it then ensures it's as compact as it can be. In order to fold the scooter, I have some keys in my pocket. However, rather than the traditional key that you would use, these come with some key fobs and a remote button in order to fold the scooter. There are also two buttons at the rear of the scooter which can be used to do the same operation. We start by pressing the scooter button on and then with the key fob, the scooter comes to life and then we press the button one more time. With the remote, we can then press the button and the scooter starts to fold as you can see here. Once folded, the scooter can be placed into the rear of a vehicle, or you can stand the vehicle up, as I'll show you now, and you can then manoeuvre the vehicle around. The x Nano doesn't come with a freewheel lever as traditionally used on other scooters. You can either use it as normal, or if you want to manoeuvre it around the home, you would have it in this position now, and then you can steer this around the home and place it under the stairs or wherever you may have space to do so. In order to unfold the x Nano, we need to place it onto its rear wheels. Once in this position, we can now use the fob or the buttons at the rear to open it out. Once unfolded, we just lift the backrest. We can sit on the scooter and now we can adjust it for add the height of our arms and also lift the armrest up. Simply press the button on the side and repeat on the other side. With my feet placed as so, I can now adjust the tiller. Simply release the hand wheel on the front, lift into position and re-tighten. For further comfort, I can adjust the armrest height. There's a button on the side and I press that in and I can adjust those up or down to suit myself. Same on the other side. And I'm now at a comfortable position. To operate the scooter, we press the button at the bottom of the tiller. With our key fob, we place that against the button and that button turns blue and the dials illuminate 
to show us how much battery is remaining. On the controls, we have the traditional wigwag throttle lever. We have the control of our maximum speed with this dial here. The maximum speed is four miles an hour, but we can reduce this for when we're in a shopping center, just for that little bit of peace of mind that we're not going to go too fast. We also have a light button, and this illuminates the light on the front and also the rear of the Nano. And we have a horn button. These are the simple controls that we've got. And the charging point for this scooter is actually situated on the side down here. And that's where we would charge it. When you receive the scooter, we'd advise that you charge that for up to eight hours or until the charging light turns green. The Exco Nano comes with an inbuilt sensor which senses when the light goes dark and it brings the lights on automatically at both the front and the rear. Alternatively, there is a button that you can press and as you can see, the front lights have illuminated and at the rear, the rear light has illuminated also. While sitting on the scooter and the Nano is turned on, you cannot fold it. However, to get off the scooter, you need to ensure that you turn the scooter off, pressing the button on the front. To help to get out of the Nano, press the button on the armrest to move that out of the way. And you can leave this one for support so you get off the scooter. From this position now, with the scooter off, I can use the remote, or as mentioned before, I can press the button at the back of the scooter. These are just some of the features that we love about the Xgold Nano, and we hope that you do too.